It finally happened. Gamers can rejoice. Now owners of an older X370 or B350 motherboard have plenty of great options to look forward to for a CPU upgrade. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. It has not been a fun week for me. I ended up catching COVID this past weekend and it was pretty scary. The first night I had experienced some extremely terrible symptoms such as extreme shivers and barely being able to breathe. I think the worst has passed but I'm still just dealing with some of the lingering symptoms so if I sound a little raspy at some points in the video it's because of that. The good news is that earlier this week AMD had finally announced the pricing of the 5800X 3D and announced more budget oriented Ryzen 5000 and 4000 CPUs for the desktop. All of that info they, that they shared was pretty much the same as what had been shared in the leaks I had talked about last week and I had already given my initial thoughts in the lineup so if you're interested in that video link for it will be in the video description. At this point I'm just going to reserve any final judgment until the chips uh, hit store shelves and have been reviewed. What I wanted to focus on for this video was the portion of the announcement which highlighted extending support for Ryzen 4000 and 5000 series CPUs for older 300 series motherboards. This includes motherboards with the X370 chipset, B350 chipset, and even the budget A320 chipset. The 300 series motherboards were launched alongside the first generation Ryzen 1000 series CPUs. I look at the launch of those motherboards in a very special way because it marked the beginning of AMD's great comeback in the CPU market and the great journey for the AM4 platform. Back in 2017, AMD talked about Socket AM4 having a long lifespan with support for the coming years. This was great because we were so sick and tired of having to deal with Intel's BS where they would release a socket, then two generations after, you would have to upgrade your motherboard if you wanted to upgrade your CPU. Whereas with AMD, this wasn't the case. Ryzen 1000 owners who had jumped ship to AMD and were an earlier adopter of AM4, whether that was through a high-end X370 motherboard or budget B350 board, had officially two more generations of CPUs to look forward to if they wanted to upgrade. Definitely not bad compared to AMD's competitor, and you also have to keep in mind these were pretty immense upgrades. I was someone who had upgraded from a 1800X to a 3900X, and the jump was astonishing because not only were you getting a significant performance improvement when it came to things like IPC, clock speed, single core performance, and all of that, but there was also a huge jump in core count. The same AM4 socket all of a sudden went from supporting up to 8 cores and 16 threads to 16 cores and 32 threads on a mainstream platform. This was never seen before, and prior to that, getting this kind of performance was only possible on more expensive HETD platforms. The really cool thing about being able to drop in a upgrade like this is just how cost effective it is. All you're doing is removing your old CPU and dropping in the new one. Everything else stays the same. You get to keep using the same RAM, same CPU cooler, same MOBO, case, everything. Fast forward to 2020, and there was this whole debacle over a slide that appeared on AMD's official community forums showing how Zen 3 would only work with 500 series motherboards. This move made absolutely no sense at the time. There weren't even any B550 motherboards available at that time, and the 400 series weren't even that old either. Some people did argue that the 300 series already got three generations of CPUs, so that it wasn't a huge deal if they missed out, but I wasn't pleased about that either because it came to light there weren't any technical issues regarding the lack of support. It was mainly due to AMD being anti-consumer. After getting a lot of backlash, they finally agreed that the 400 series would be also supporting the 5000 series, but not the 300 series. Now in 2022, with Intel finally becoming competitive, the pressure was on AMD. They can allow support for owners of older 300 series motherboards to uh, use Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, or risk losing them to their competitor if they had to buy a new motherboard anyway. But it seems like they've finally come around and realized that, hey, this way for owners that are on these older systems and want one final grand upgrade, they have the Zen 3 5000 series CPUs that they can upgrade to. Imagine going from something like a Ryzen 5 1600 to a Ryzen 9 5950X on a Asus Crosshair X370 Prime motherboard. They'll get to experience one hell of an upgrade, whether that's for gaming or productivity needs from just a simple CPU swap. 
Now, before AMD even made the official announcement, there were a lot of motherboard manufacturers that had already gone ahead with posting BIOS updates on support pages of various motherboards that contain support for the 5000 series. I still have my X370 Gaming 5 motherboard, and I'm using it in my rig, which is connected to my 4K OLED. I recently saw that Gigabyte had released a new BIOS for this board, which allowed support for Zen 3 Vermeer 5000 series CPUs. It got taken down though for some reason, I'm not sure exactly why, it could have had a bug, but I'm really happy to see this motherboard get its life extended. I'll definitely be dropping in a 5000 series CPU, maybe my 5800X for my test bench, or I might get the upcoming 5700X, I'm not sure. But hey, get subscribed because I'll definitely be sharing my results and experience with you guys on how that works out. This also helps the environment if you think about it. By preventing more e-waste, people are not going to have to buy newer motherboards and then, you know, trash their old ones. Instead, they've got a perfectly good working motherboard, already got, you know, RAM and the CPU cooler and everything to go along with it. Why not just let them keep using it with the newer chips? For those of you who had purchased an X370 or B350 motherboard in 2017, it probably feels really good to be able to have another generation of CPUs that you can upgrade to. If you have one, let me know in the comments if you'll be dropping in a new chip to replace your old one. I think this is the kind of platform longevity every manufacturer should be aiming towards, and I know that we're all happy that AMD is finally allowing this, but keep in mind this probably wouldn't have happened if Intel flopped with Alder Lake, because then AMD would have remained on top, they would be aware that hey it's not like people have a choice, let's just make it so that they'll have to buy a new motherboard if they want to upgrade to Zen 3. But that's not the case, and with Intel having the ability to poach so many 300 series owners, AMD realized that this was a huge portion of the market they couldn't ignore anymore. This is why I'm always telling you guys not to fanboy over one company, and why we should be rooting for market competition. Because then these companies act in a more consumer friendly manner to win more consumers on their side, because they have to create this incentive over their competitors. All in all, I'm really glad that we're getting these updates, and I look forward to seeing all the 300 series owners get to enjoy Zen 3 Vermeer. I think AMD made the right decision in letting AM4 go out with such a bang, and I'm hoping they continue this behavior with AM5 down the road. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.